Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to be listing off in no particular order five mistakes that new players make. And I'm not talking about noobs who might have been playing for a couple weeks. I mean brand new first time players straight off Tutorial Island. So let's get right into it. For the first one we have switching attack styles. I remember that I had this problem years ago when I first started and I didn't know this option existed so I ended up getting like level 20 attack before I even figured this out. I was wondering how other players were able to hit above one. I thought they just had a really high level or something. And I actually thought to get defense XP you had to let yourself get hit. So I would stand around and try to not fight back and just let monsters attack me. Eventually I somehow figured it out and it blew my mind and I started gaining levels so fast and hitting big numbers. For the second mistake, it's not knowing how to trade. Did anyone else ever want to trade with someone and walk up to them and just say, hi, I want to trade with you? And then you would see the purple text and think, okay, let's trade. I remember trying to type every single possible combination of words that would start a trade. I just wasn't doing it right, man. I don't know why I never thought to just click on the purple text but I think eventually that's how I figured it out. For the third one, it's not knowing your combat level. I'm pretty sure about half the player base didn't know this when they started, including myself. I remember walking around Lumbridge and constantly seeing people ask others what their level was, so I figured that was just normal to ask other players. As little kids, I don't think we had enough common sense to realize that the creators of the game would put in such a basic concept, but again, most people, I'm sure, were able to figure out this trick after a couple days of playing. And for the next one is not knowing that you could right click specifically on items. So once you figured out how to trade with a player, you would just keep clicking on your stack of coins until you had the correct amount up there. Same thing with depositing items in the bank too, just keep on clicking. Oh, and even just talking to the banker, I remember clicking and going through the dialogue every single time. God, I was such a cute noob. I really do love cute noobs so much, at least when they're not cocky or arrogant. They actually appreciate when you teach them something new, and it, it just makes them enjoy the game that much more. But moving on to the last one now is talking to NPCs, or trying to talk to NPCs. Yes, I still see noobs do this to this day, and it is just the cutest thing. Like when a random event comes up and they think it's another player talking to them, it's hilarious to watch, and sometimes they figure it out like halfway through. If any of you browse Reddit or go on the 2007 scape sub, you might have heard of r slash cute noobs. And if not, you should go check it out because it's filled with funny situations just like this. So that was 5 mistakes that brand new players make in RuneScape, or at least 5 mistakes I made when I first started. In the comments, tell me what kind of dumb things you did as noobs, because I'd like to hear what you've got to say. Just want to say a few quick things. Um, first off, I'm going to be maxing tomorrow, Thursday, uh, at noon Pacific time. It's going to be in World 69 in the games room. So if you'd like to come, here's an open invite. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm still pretty new on there, but it's at the Wild Mudkip, and I will have that link in the description. My clan chat Mudkip is always open, so feel free to stop by and have a chat and make some friends. If you enjoyed the video though, please give it a like so I know what kind of content to make in the future. And if you'd like to see more from me, then please subscribe, it really would mean a lot. But I would like to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow. Wow, of course this guy's a freaking Iron Man.